Welcome to Kiwi Culture, your guide to New Zealand life and New Zealand language. Today's Kiwi clip is another Kiwi vocabulary video. This time, it's related to clothes. There are so many words in the English language for clothing. Here are some of them which are used in New Zealand that might be different from ones that you already know. First is tops. A tank top is called a singlet in New Zealand. And a sweater is often a jersey or a jumper. Singlet. Singlet. Jersey. Jersey. Jumper. Jumper. Remember, you don't hear the R at the end. In many countries, this piece of formal clothing is a vest. In New Zealand, it's a waistcoat. What is a vest here is usually a knitted, sleeveless top, kind of similar to a jersey. But there is an exception, and it's an exception you will see a lot in New Zealand, and that is the high-vis vest, short for high-visibility vest, because of the bright orange or yellow colour they usually have. Waistcoat. Waistcoat. Vest. Vest. High vis vest. High vis vest. And now bottoms. New Zealand English often follows British English vocabulary and rules, but not in this situation. These are trousers in British English but in New Zealand, they're called pants. And there is quite a big difference in meaning here because pants in Britain means underwear. And now accessories. These things on the left are usually called purses in New Zealand. They're small and they hold your money and your cards. In the middle is an example of a wallet. They are also small, they hold your money and your cards and their shape is often a rectangle or a square. Purse. Purse. Wallet. Wallet. On the right is an example of a handbag in New Zealand. It's usually a bit larger, has a strap so you can wear it or hold on to it, and it holds more than just your money. Keys, cell phone, wallet, everything. Handbag. Handbag. Usually in common speech, it sounds more like ham bag. Ham bag. One difference that is helpful to know is that in some English speaking countries, what is called a purse is more likely to be called a handbag in New Zealand. This can be an important difference to know, because if you lose a handbag but tell someone I lost my purse, have you seen any purses around, most New Zealanders will be thinking about a small purse that only holds your money and your cards. Now it's time for footwear. These are a famous example of New Zealand vocabulary. They're called jandals, often flip-flops in other parts of the world. These can be many things, running shoes, or sneakers, or trainers. And the most popular name for these is gumboots, but they can also be galoshes, wellingtons, or wellington boots. Jandals. Jandals. Running shoes. Running shoes. Sneakers. Sneakers. Trainers. Trainers. Remember, you don't hear the R at the end. Gumboots. Gumboots. Galoshes. Galoshes. Wellingtons. Wellingtons. And now babies. A diaper is a nappy in New Zealand. And even though they're not technically clothing, it's helpful to know that a pacifier is a dummy, 
and strollers are often called prams as well. Napping. Napping. Dummy. Dummy. Stroller. Stroller. Remember, no R sound at the end. Pram. Pram. We have three things left. Let's have a look. This here is called a dressing gown, more often than a bathrobe. And these are pantyhose, but another name for them is tights. And last but not least is togs. This one is difficult because it's almost impossible to guess from the word what the item of clothing is. Dressing gown. Dressing gown. Tights. Tights. Togs. Togs. Thanks for stopping by for another video. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. See you next time on Kiwi Culture.